What's up YouTube Mihao from Tech Test Tutorials and in today's video we are going to clone our system from a bigger hard disk drive to smaller SSD. Now because of the differences in the sizes of those drives as bigger HDD drive and smaller SSD this might become a tricky process but we've got software we've got tools and today I'm going to share my experience how to address all that issues so let's start. Basically, I'm going to assume that you know how to connect a hard drive. You will just need a SATA cable and SATA power for the new SSD drive. Also, what you could use is a uh, USB to SATA adapter and you could connect this new uh, SSD externally. So no internal installation process needed for the just for the sake of cloning. Uh, however, uh, as I said, I'm going to assume that you know how to install and the driver physically in your machine. Now first product we are going to discuss is Acronis 3 Image, very popular software. Little bit pricey but sometimes you can get it free when you buy an SSD. It comes uh, for example with some uh, ADATA SSD so you might get this for free. Uh, if not you can uh, always buy this. Now the way this works you just need to download the installation uh, version then you prepare a live CD uh, that you will boot from uh, your uh, computer this is this looks like a Linux distro of some sort with a nice GUI on top uh, actually the cloning process is very straightforward there is an auto mode uh, so if you are connecting a clean drive it will be automatically uh, set as the destination drive you should always have a copy uh, of the drive you are cloning because something terrible might always happen but uh, basically uh, Acronis deals this kind of situation very nicely as you can see I have connected my drive uh, via USB it was uh, it was discovered with uh, with no problems you just start the cloning operation uh, in this case it took about 40 minutes so it's pretty smooth fast works most uh, of the time it works even when you are cloning from a bigger drive to smaller one but sometimes and this is a little bit more complicated um, it ends up with a failure so here's what I found in the event log um, it turned out after doing some research that this got something to do with the way that the Windows is storing the data on the drive and let's say you've got 80 gigs of total of your data on your old drive and you have been using the system for a while now there might be some data that you cannot see but they're there and they can be moved and the total amount of this data is bigger than the, uh, your destination SSD this is my best guess what is causing these problems now people have been writing that you could try check disk uh, to recover from the situation I have tried that that didn't work out well so I've started to look for some other software solution to recover from this situation and I have found the solution and we are going to discuss this uh, later in the video but we, before we will do this there is another software that I would like to uh, talk about and it's called Clonezilla and it's totally free however it comes with some limitation uh, basically to our scenario now and this doesn't allow uh, cloning to a smaller drive so it says the destination partition must be equal or larger than the source one so basically for us today this is not going to be much help however if you have uh, already uh, your system installed or cloned any other way this is the free software that will uh, enable you to create an image uh, it works upon a Linux distribution it deals great with uh, images with cloning if you are going to clone to the same uh, size of a drive or you would like to have an image of all the data that are stored on your SSD or hard drive this is the cheapest the best uh, way to do this so I thought this is worth mentioning that the clonezilla is there it could totally help you however not in the scenario when you would like to clone 
uh, to a smaller drive. So that's that. That's one thing to keep in mind. However, software is worth mentioning. Lots of people are using this. It's totally free and it's great. Now, the last software that we are going to discuss today, the last but definitely not least, is easy as to do backup. There is a free version, home version and commercial version. And either this commercial one is not uh, that pricey. It comes with a lot of additional features. For example, you can move uh, operating system to a VM, you've got iSCSI initiator, so a uh, lot of fancy stuff for a system admin. However, for a home uh, purpose, it's free, you can just download this. And the way this works is actually you install the software in the system that you are going to uh, clone. So you install this in your Windows machine, uh, in the system that you are actually running at the moment on the hard drive. And then from this running system, you just select all the partition that you would like to move uh, or the whole drive. And you set up just a destination SSD or the destination drive. And the data will be cloned to the new SSD from a working system. It actually sounds weird, but it works decently great. Uh, one uh, downside to this, it takes a little bit longer than, for example, Acronis. So I have done the same uh, migration with Acronis and this software. And for Acronis, it took like 40 minutes. Uh, for this uh, software, almost two hours. However, uh, you don't have to be worried about uh, those unmovable data, data that you cannot see. Uh, it actually helped me to recover from the situation that I mentioned that I had this issue with uh, Acronis that I was unable to clone this with Acronis. I solved the situation with e easy as to do backup. So great little software, definitely uh, try this out. Uh, the trial uh, is for free and it's done great job for me. I can't uh, say enough good about this. It's very easy and straightforward. So you just basically select the drive you are going to clone. You are showing the destination drive. You click next and you have around, let's say two hours for 90 gigs uh, worth of uh, storage. If you are going to move that um, this amount of data, well, you will have to wait for two hours but uh, I have tried this for a couple of systems and uh, I haven't encountered any issues, any problems with that. So if all other software will fail you, well, uh, definitely try to use uh, easy as to do backup. Give this software a try. Well, basically this wraps up this video. Guys, if you enjoyed this content, if I helped you, definitely drop me a like, subscribe for some more content in the future and see you in the next video. Bye.